And then also they have to consider if they want to ban Yom. Also Kronos is, is like, it's just so like hard to play against. That's their name for a reason. I'm walking through the studio. They're bumping music. They're out here just ready to go. You know, this is the team that they want to make some noise. They're doing it. So Flashbang so get the scrim far better teams that are in the console league. Strategy. Um. So thing. But on the other, on the other side, yeah, but they don't have a... They're yeah, they get Freya. They're they actually banning King Arthur. I don't think banning King Arthur was... Uh, What's what they should have done here? They're getting away, it's good into Freya, so... It, regardless, Freya's gonna have pressure though. You shouldn't lose first purple buff, but... After second purple buff, it's like Freya has a bit of pressure. Oh my god, he has long hair in the back, in the neck. Dude, that's fucking cool. You'll just utilize that passive to get back to lane and not miss out on any farm. Yeah, I feel bad for Farah as well, man. I, I wish she was here. It, it, it is so unfair. Like, they made land, they're so happy about making land, and they end up not getting the, the visa for, um, for Farah. Honestly, second pick right now is just so much better. Like, there's always gonna be, um... And of course, Sibby Sibby, is yeah. Actually, what they could have done, so it, instead of first picking Freya, right, they could have picked Yom here. And then they would get um, Freya and probably like a, a support or jungle. And then they would just pick Jingwei, second and third pick. And that way they would be fine with that trade. And they get pressure in solo, whereas they lose pressure in dueling, but that's fair when they have Jingwei into Freya. Erlang Shen. Shout out to John Finch. He'll be selected here second. Erlang Shen, it's different flex for support and oh, uh, and jungle. Finch just has a slam and Son Kui. Jean Kui, however, one of Moronic's kind of go-tos during the regular season. And I alluded to the difference between our metas here. We've seen <coughs> Jean Kui notably in the solo lane. <laughs> oh, Johnny on the Quang. Honestly, Quang is somewhat good into Sun Kui, I feel like. a little bit of a difference, and... Man, this is where you get up and you start clapping. Flashpoint, have the Al Kwong. It's the Johnny <clears> show. They're gonna prove to Hype, you know, it's like, listen. P pick and ban wise, Hype is just. So let's see what Johnny is just ahead right now. This is the true ultimate test, his Al Kwong at land. Big point. This is Johnny's first time on land. That's a big deal. Totally, you've been there. And we both watched that interview. <coughs> Quang is just not good for competitive, if you like. Johnny seems a little bit nervous. Do you think it'll bleed into the play? I think he's just more Dude, if Johnny pops up, that'd be so cool. Thinking about talking about the other team at this point, he's like, alright, what do I need to do to get this W? It's a long road ahead for not only Flashpoint, but also Hype Unit. Hype Unit, afraid of the healers. No Does anybody know how good the ex Chota is? And then Flashpoint banning out two or whatever his name is. No Sir Kent, nor no Arachne. So Flashpoint looking for some of the burst damage, particularly dot-based burst damage. Hmm. Those characters deal without Kwong relatively well, so keeping them out of the game is definitely going to be a good look. And Hype Unit, healers have devastated console players for years. We like to complain about... He's not all. I, I don't think I've ever seen him. I think maybe Cho maybe I've seen him in EU rank before I moved. A lot of healers there for sure, and but speaking so they got Tyrrell support, they have Yom for I mean, Yom could still be mid, but I doubt that. Um, where you do have to build a little bit anti healing. I'm not building cursed onk against the Terra, but I might pick up a pestilence. Well, Terra's that that mid. What would we like to see high pick here? They need to pick uh, potentially jungle and solo, except if it's Sanku solo into Yom. Like, Sanku solo should be fine into Yom if they want to do that, but. They said Bironic, Bironic, the mid laner, is playing a lot of Sunku. So I assume it's Sunku mid. What would they need for solo? I would probably say this could get like a. Like something that can win against Jom. Maybe get like a Bellona or something and get pressure. Sun Kong is good as well. We see a Sun Wukong that's likely to go to Wolves. And a jungle selection for KP. Layers of death going the Morrigan. I think it's a Morrigan jungle. Interesting. Else, it probably a... not. It's probably Erlong support, Stumble Kong solo, and Morrigan jungle. I agree with you. But well, what the fuck? Morrigan for support and then put Erlang jungle maybe? Because Morrigan support can actually be uh, super much, like a lot of fucking pressure. What? But they have to start dueling then. It's Sun Wukong support. Sure. I have no idea who's going where. Okay. 
What's up, Thomas? Are you home now? What's up, Master Bats? Medusa? Why Medusa? I understand it's Medusa mid, right? But. You get popcorn ready for this set? I need to get the popcorn ready. Letting the Alquan go is, is an experiment. That's a tough one, though. It's hard to throw have a throwaway game in the best of three, right? Well, like, there's been so many best of fives in the SPL, not many in the console world or in the SML. So these teams are ready for the best of threes. But double Pick and bands look pretty damn good. Without Fafnir, with Shogun's Kusari, could still work, I think. Very interested in this poll, to be honest. I also gotta get the G skin ready for YouTube. I'm just gonna upload the games on YouTube um, like after the set is over. And just uploading the set on YouTube with my commentary. Going back to NA, it's gonna be like three weeks or something. I think they are better than people seem to think. What are you feeling, Tully? I'm feeling this could go either way. Without Ferrocrick, you never really know how Flashpoint are gonna be feeling. You might have to give it to Hype Unit, who knows? That how Kong though. That's yeah. gonna be a big what are they playing for? They're playing for... I don't know what the price pool is. 60k dollars? The Morgan brings dots as well. Will the dots be enough to take it? The first crossplay game. Let's get into it for MSI. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Tolly. Let's kick the MSI off right here, right now. Hyping it up against Flashpoint, Finch, and Taco. How loud do you want the commentators, by the way? Because I'm not sure if you want to, like, focus on what I'm saying or listen to them. Alright, so I was... Okay, so they actually went for the... Alright, I was a bit confused because I remember that uh, Wolves guy is pretty good on... On uh, Son Wukong. And they said Baronic was good on Sun Kui. But they switched it around. So they actually have Sun Kui solo, Morrigan mid, and they, they got the jungle uh, line. But Son Wukong jungle uh, support is a bit weird, and of course Freya at, at a carry just makes a lot of sense. Uh, inbound got meditation, so I would say they have to win early game here. If they if they don't end up winning early game, having a meditation can be pretty rough. However, it is pretty good in Tao Kuang. Uh, is there any other actives? Uh, Terra went for horrific. Horrific is quite good, um, especially when they're like two auto takers. They have like one, two, I guess three guards without CC uh, CC Moon ultimate. Um, so horrific action makes a lot of sense here, and then of course you got Blink on uh, Johnny, get some aggression going. They're both level two here. Oh, if if Morgan got that stun off, he would have been dead. I don't know why Sibi didn't hit level two. He should definitely been hit le level two here. Maybe he didn't get speed experience, or maybe they didn't do red buff yet. Even though Johnny should have been speed to red. Okay, he did that. He did that. They have troubles in solo as well. At least he has a lot of potions. I'm not sure why he went five healing potions like that. Maybe because he watered. Yeah, I, I guess uh, Yom watered. So he went five healing potions instead of winning, uh, going health chalice. But he can go that with warrior blessing and boots and then get a health, health chalice. Instead he went five or four healing potions. CB is mid, yeah, which is pretty sad. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. That was sick. That was kind of like a tower. Dive. Holy fuck! That's crazy. Oh, that stun down on Fusify or oh, dash down. They still do have a meditation, so they could potentially bait them. Alright, so who is playing on? <coughs> who is playing on controller? I'm not sure who's actually playing a controller here. Dulane looks like Freya has a bit of pressure, with, which just makes sense. You're gonna lose pressure as almost every other carry early game into Freya. Right now, I'm pretty confused. Why is nobody retaining him solo lane? Like, surely Hype would get a lot of um, advantage for taking from Solar Lane and just let Sun Kui get a lot of experience instead of letting Sun Wukong share with them. 
Samukong is like more of an annoying support than Terra early game when it comes to boxing. And they got a kill on Johnny as well, so potentially they could have zoned him even more like his back camps on second spawn or third spawn at least. <coughs> He's rotating now, but I feel like it's it's a bit late. Freya is five. <laughs> Freya pressure, dude. OP. Erlang is 2-0 right now, he's gonna hit 5 somewhat soon. You think Song is the controller? Oh. That's a killer mid. And meditation down on... Sun Wukong. I'm not sure how to get to get that kill, maybe uh, Erlang was playing a bit too far. Morrigan is full boots already. If Johnny can go right lane here and get a kill on Sun uh, Kui. Sun Kui is full health almost, so it's gonna be super hard. He doesn't quite have ultimate yet, and also he's going into Bancroft, which is quite interesting. Oh, he's just sharing his solo. I guess what they should do in every game with Johnny is just let Johnny get ahead, share almost every lane he can share, get that fucking experience. <clears throat> when it comes to team fights, I feel like um, I, I, I feel like Hype Unit is just winning instantly. Like a good team fight for them is instant win. Because I would say potentially Morrigan uh, transform into Terra. They have Erlang for AoE. Terra is just fucking ultimating everybody and then doing her damage, like for late game. Or even go and double Sun Kui if Sun Kui gets somewhat ahead. I'm not sure. Fight going on. That's uh, two ultimates down for Hype. <coughs> and two ultimates for uh, for Flashpoint. Who got the blue buff? That's the, that's the more, more important question. I think Hype ended up getting it. Oh wait. Actually did the uh, Did Flashpoint get it? Show that rotating to make sure they get the right mechanics. I'm pretty sad to see that uh hype unit is not playing like more to the pressure. What's up Smexy Disco? I I'm pretty sure they could have a uh, Oh they added the totem here. I need to redu reduce the game then. <coughs> I'm pretty certain that Erlang should be smacking Johnny early game. Inbound is coming as well. Oh my god, that is so unlucky. And they one shot the they one shot Fusify as a thing. That's a dead Fusify. Uh, a bit too greedy from Johnny, maybe. Also, he waited quite long on using the dash, but not sure he would have survived anyways. Unlucky, he got stunned on, on the tick. Who's this console team? It's Hype. And who, <laughs> who are they? They're Xbox NA. The people who won Worlds last year. What? Uh, what? What an ultimate. They still have Fusify ultimate as well, so they can't decide to take another fight after. So this is what I'm not understanding is... Why is it not Hype Unit who is aggressing? Why do they let Flashpoint aggress on them? I, I'm pretty sure Morrigan rotations are so much more impactful than um, Medusa rotations. Fusify and Johnny are brothers. Uh, I have no idea. I don't think you should be focusing uh, the Terra. 
Oh, he got a stun there. I'm not sure about that one. Oh, CP is dead now. I think they should just let that fight happen and uh, and back off. They got the. Um, they got Morrigan ultimate for Terra ultimate, which would be like just completely worth it. When uh, like if you look at the cooldown, Terra going in. They're ready for that. Johnny got a kill. Bruwanik is better low. Maybe Jingwei can kill him. No. Holy shit, dude. <clears throat> At this point, it's actually looking like I think the later we go towards mid game, I think Flashpoint is looking to win just the way they're playing right now. But if you get to late game and late game uh, team fights, I do believe that Hybion is gonna win. What is the upset? Like, who did, who who is people expecting to win right now? Because surely it's looking in Hyde Unit's favor. They are world champions and also they're... They're not playing with a sub. Surely they should win. Mm. Oh, I almost didn't get it. There's rotations coming. They hit Erlang again. Inbound is here. Tiro ultimate. They're going on Johnny. I think I can kill him. Oh. Actually, this could be an inbound kill. Inbound, uh, uh, Baronic, uh, Morrigan doesn't have ultimate. Also, look at, looking at, at Summer Kong is just like, he got jealous of, um, I hope he doesn't go, um, I hope he doesn't go the, the Genjis. That's, that's the item that, Inbound always went in the spell games, I, I remember. But here's um, the ward item, Chalice. That's 400 gold. That's a lot of value already gone. <laughs> Are we for sure? I don't think that's what he's doing. The Chalice of the Oracle, yep. Yeah. That's 400 gold lost and you kind of want to show presence early game as Summer Kong. Because... You're gonna get outscaled by um, uh, by Terra completely. Also, there was a sick rotation from uh, Kispanify. They don't even end up winning the trade, even though that rotation was perfect. Johnny's gonna probably die here. That could be a goal for it. That should be a goal for it. Choda's gonna be pushing right. Yeah, I mean, Morrigan into. Into uh, Sun Kui is just too strong. Erlang got way too good of a start as well. Inbound defending right lane. It's alright, honestly. It's not too bad yet. A bit of a lead. <laughs> the one thing is that I do believe having Sun Kui to be the highest level or the strongest would have been the most impactful. But he's level 9 right now. He needs to get some, some fucking farm. What's up, Dickress? Oh, he could have hit that Griff. If Griff went for that one, he could have hit it. <coughs> it's pretty uh, interesting that he went Pythagoras Peace. It, it actually makes sense because right, why do we want Dynasty when they're when they're only two physicals? And then he got an early demonic grip instead of going Hastened Ring. Hastened Ring would have been way more kill potential. That was an insane Medusa ultimate. And Choda over the rotated here, but Freya is here as well, and Freya is super fucking strong. Oh, he went Onis. Thank God. These games are the more interesting than this build, you think so? 
I mean, I think the game is pretty interesting as well, but... More interesting, I don't know. It's, it's pretty sad to see Sipe is mid, because he's a really good solo laner. High playing with mouse and keyboard? Yeah, I think the only one playing with controller is... Uh, is more wolves. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, they they have double py Pytax as well. Probably having a Bancroft on uh, on Freya would be better than having the py py Pytax. Like Bancroft is still pretty good value, and it's not because Kuno actually is that OP on Freya. I would like to damage boost on some kind of early game. Yeah, I don't think Teleri would just answer. Either it's going tank boots or it's going void type and try to carry early game. I don't see too much value in Teleri. <coughs> so Kui is uh, slowly getting experience as well, level 12, <coughs> not quite enough. You got some killing ultimate for that. I wonder if Johnny can, like, I, I, I don't see it happening, but I wonder if Johnny can just, like, completely carry late game. I don't see it happening, but... Could just out of banish. That's why Jingwei is pretty good into Freya, because she can she can dash away. Forcing a Pyromancer. I guess Sun Kui checked it, but just went all bit went away. It's pretty good. Also, Quang is like insane objective uh, pressure, and they have Jingwei. Is Jingwei going crit? So Jingwei is not going crit, which is all right because he's going to be against like a frontline uh, setup. I think they're gonna be st stacking double executioner though. Maybe uh, he's not gonna go for executioner, but going double executioner is not that good value, even though it's like some of the best items you can go. But you can easily make a build on uh, Medusa without having executioner. Because you can go Quince and then, uh, or you can go Essie, Quince and then Titan's Bane. If he wants to get lifesteal, I'm not sure if he's what he's opting for. Oh no, look at Sambo Kong build, he got Glad Shield now. Also, Jingwei is ahead. I do believe since uh, Freya didn't go Dynasty, I do believe that Jingwei should differ when crit. That was actually a good TP from Choda. Like, how is that so early? I guess Gofu is up. Pironic should die here. Sanku is timing completely, didn't get the kill on Quang. They could maybe back off and go for gold. But then again, Gispanify is pretty healthy, so there's nobody can do that. I, I don't know if I like the Glad Shield. Like, I. I feel like that's that's, that's maybe a, a little too squishy. She would want life still. Yeah, he got life still now on uh, on Sibi. I do believe that Sibi should not get execution now, and he should get Queen's Titans and then get the Audibar. because getting double execution is just like you lose a bit of value. Even though it's fine to have double, it's still like if you're on the same target late game, it's just. Value giving away. Alright, so they both got sprint. I understand the sprint from Terra because they're gonna be going into double uh, Sunku with slows. Even if Freya has a bit of slow, right? Um, 
I'm not sure how much I like to sprint from uh, from the Summer Kong. <laughs> I believe they could have done better with like a, like a fancy or something. Is Odebar still good at Thunderf? Yeah, for sure. I don't know if they're playing on that patch. But yeah, it's still good. It barely does anything. Like 15 flat damage. It's not that much. They keep forcing CP ultimates. <clears throat> this only is somewhat important. Like whoever gets it can probably get a tower wherever they want. Also, Sunku is split pushing while they're forcing this. I'm not sure if they should look to fight here. Oh. <coughs> it's probably GG already. That sprint down, they're chasing Johnny. They will sprint and blink for that. Also, they get tier 2 tower on right lane. I do believe this is a win for Hive. Did they fix set from last time? I think set is... Um, I think they're playing on the old patch. Veronic is going way too ham here. Hello? Hmm. Fucking uh, Erlang is too fat. He has had some good fucking blinks. He has some fucking good blinks. Wait, let me see how he died. I think they killed Griff as well here if Terra got CC. Maybe Layers instead then. Layers kill is better. Johnny blinked in. He has Ensil. <laughs> Quang couldn't even ultimate. Like, because uh, Erlang has beats. And I don't think his ultimate impact damage would have killed him, so. In that scenario, it's just. I don't know if I can say it's unlucky, but definitely not optimal for Johnny. In a Xbox is the only really good console team. I'm not sure exactly, but yeah, I, I do think that's that's the best console team. Dude, there's wow! I didn't know there was that many people gonna be streaming, um, streaming uh, the MSI games. I I I would have liked to see uh, crit from Ying Wei still. Like, look into the squishies on Wukong. How much protection does he have? He has 30 physical plus 15. He has 45 physical protections, and now he's going into more damage. I know he doesn't necessarily need to be tangy, but this is just too squishy. I feel like they should kill Sanku here. Sanku should not survive except if he blinks away now. I do believe that he could have blinked there. I actually think Sanku could have blinked there. They could go fight on here and then leave Left Phoenix. They're back and for it. I guess Freya is not that much damage on Phoenix. That way they could maybe defend it. Uh, I think Flashpoint should have gotten fired on instead of looking for this fight. But maybe they can get fired on here if they get the kills now, anyways. <coughs> I, I don't understand why is Summer Kong going such a squishy build. That's the Phoenix. Uh, that's the best Phoenix they could get. Maybe they could rush fire down here if Terra can stop their backs. If Terra is stopping backs here, they could get fire down maybe. Nope, they're going portal. It's going to be hard. Unlucky. That was Magus anyways, but I think if he hit the Magus, could potentially hit a stun after. 
Uh, Quang is going double life still, which actually makes a lot of sense this game. There is no anti heal on the enemy team. Morrigan doesn't really excel that well with Divine Ruin, and it's hard to proc. Uh, Erlang has opted into no magical, or not magical, but life still. And also you got a Void Shield now. L void Shield last item surely is all right. Like for the physical damage, also get a bit of protection. Not too bad. Um, <sighs> they're going double Void Shield now. I, I don't think double Void Shield is a problem, but they have Morrigan, Sankui, and Freya. F there is almost no reason for them to have double Void Shield because the value that Void Shield gives to Son Wukong to Erlang is like he already got it. Son Wukong, is he gonna solo anybody? I doubt it, but we'll see. So I do believe that some Wukong should just went into a 10 gear build and, and try to be annoying if that. They don't need more damage. Going double watch here is just uh, weird. That's Son Kui ultimate down, CB ultimate down. Griff is going really aggressive here. Yeah. Layers went in, that could have maybe be a kill. Kispanifash come back in. Aegis down with CB. Not good. That's a transformation from Morrigan into Son Kui. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing I said with, uh, with Johnny. There's just not much to do uh, into this much AoE damage. Like, they have way too much AoE, AoE damage. And does he have Odebao? He has Odebao. Honestly, he could maybe defend it. Like, Odebao could maybe be so much value. I think they don't get it. I don't, I don't think they get it. Odebao here is too strong. I don't know. Now, Wolf is dead as well. No, 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 no. Oh, nice. He can get more kills now. No way. What's up, Caleb? Hello, Fraster. Fra Fraster. I do believe he should not have gone for more after the uh, Sanku. The good thing is here, nobody got Fire Giant. Actually, the dream scenario is that Hype got Fire Giant and then the wipe them. That would have been way better for Flashpoint. Um, except if they end up winning a fight now, which I don't believe they can. But the left Phoenix is going to be up, so... Oh, they got unlucky that the Fire Wave just spawned down here. Uh, Phoenix spawned so late, so they got the fire, extra Fire Wave. That's pretty unlucky. But they definitely want to <coughs> try and stall for... Like, honestly, I don't even know if they want to get late, late game. I don't know if they can win. I don't know. We'll see if we get that. That's good. That's good. So what? Uh, what we want to do here from Erlang? They're into Terra and Quang with double life still, right? There's also Essie here. There's life still here. But what I want to see from Erlang here is probably sell your Crusher or Void Shield and you get your Brawlers or some Wukong could also get the Brawlers because he can proc it pretty easy. So sell that fucking Void Shield or sell the Glad Shield even. Just sell Glad Shield, get the Brawlers or get like a Pestilence or something. Like you don't need Makis and all that shit. It's pretty easy for them to proc anyways. So get Pestilence and Brawlers and Sanku honestly could go Divine Ruin. Still one of the items go Divine Rune. Is that Terra ultimate for Sanku ultimate? Bruronic is really fucking low here. Like, uh, there's double life to Quang and there's a Terra as well. I, I wanna see some anti Choda got a kill. Actually, this is really good. Kispenify looking pretty low. I think Layers could die here. Yeah, he blinks in. Nice. Johnny still has ultimate. That's a kill. This could be fire end. There is still ultimate down or up for Sobukong, ultimate up for Morgan as well. Double life still here, he's gonna be full health if he doesn't die here. 
They both have ultimate up. Sunku ultimate down. I think they could have killed Johnny and gotten out. Like, inbound could ultimate instantly, and Morgan could ultimate get out. Mm, I mean, honestly... I don't know how they lost the fight, man. Like, how did they lose the fight at final? I, I don't get it. Like, Tyrek got a one-man ultimate. This set is better lit, actually. Pretty good set. <clears throat> so, again, I'm not sure if I like the build coming out from... I mean, this is the kind of normal build you want to go, kind of, right? But uh, with double headed carry, I think it should have went Quince here and get Titan Spain here. I think that's more the piss of all. No until yet. Actually, it's gonna be Flashpoint forcing the fire down. It just enhanced. If they got that enhanced fire down, that'd be sick. Don't get too poked. Fusify got Shogun's. There's upgrade of Riffic. So, he upgraded. He upgraded Meditation. It's almost no value. I think the only reason Hype Unit is, is gonna lose this game is because of um, of having like Sambo Kong and, and especially because of that Sambo Kong build. I'm not sure how much I like it. Right Phoenix doesn't do that much at this point. But honestly, it's better than nothing, right? Or oh, if you got that knock up, they could maybe have done something on him. Because Spendify is back in, what is he gonna get? A center ward, a number ward, that's what I like to see. Upgraded actives already for Jingwei. Really, 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 really good. I think. Uh, again, Fusify is one man ultimate, ultimating. Like, these ultimates are not a lot of value from uh, for the Flashpoint. Like, Sankui did an ultimate, Morgan did an ultimate. And they used, like. Oh, actually, maybe they can get some kills over here. That's Sibi dead, I think. Actually, maybe Lifesteal? Never mind. Inbound loan does low as well. Choda's gonna die. Johnny jumps down. He does have one up. He's life stealing a lot. Oh my god, Johnny. This is GG. This is GG. Oh, this is GD. It's just not enough DSI for Flashpoint. Griff did everything in his power there to try and salvage this match for Hype Unit, but unfortunately for the guys in black and blue. <coughs> That's GD. Here for game number one up against Flashpoint Finch. Wow, what a big play in that last fight. Dude, Johnny Lifestyle is so fucking OP. Flashpoint, do do do. Flashpoint. That's insane. That's insane. Flashpoint come away with the game one win. And Finch, I, I can't help but mention it, but that AO became a massive problem in that mid to late game there. Oh my god. The slaps insane. I'm gonna find the meme here. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, 
Oops. I do believe that should have been a win for um for for hype like so such a fed Erlang. They don't have life still. I'm not sure. Is this the first set for the day? It is, and there's four sets, four sets, and I'm uh, probably gonna be watching it all. All right, I'm gonna get the. Dude, fucking Sippy is huge. I mean, this is uh, you were spot <laughs> here. This team come through to land, and Johnny has not been able to make it. He's here, and he's here for Flashpoint joining me. Johnny, this is the first time Flashpoint's made it to land. How excited are you to finally be here? I'm pretty excited, like. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you guys have been. At the uh, top. It wasn't that funny, I guess. Up of the SML for a long time, but you've had some problems okay, getting but... to land and things like that. They stalled the game for a little bit too long, allowing Kispainify to make the defense. Let's see if I can get this clip. The solo lane. All right, I've got Johnny the jungler here for Flashpoint joining me. Johnny, this is the first time Flashpoint's made it to land. How excited are you to finally be here? I'm pretty excited, like... Five points made it to land. How excited are you to finally be here? I'm pretty excited. Like, yeah. <laughs> made it to land. How excited are you to finally be here? I'm pretty excited. Like, <laughs> made it to land. Uh, pretty ex <laughs> I want to do this for game two. Uh, see if I can download the clip. Just give me a second. And then I'm going to put it on Twitter. Pretty excited for game two. Uh, the clip. How are you doing today, sub, by the way? Made it to land. How excited are you to finally be here? I'm pretty excited. Like, made it to land. How excited. <laughs> uh, can I clip it? How the fuck do I download it? Um, made it to land. How excited are you? Don't play with the main mid? Nope, he couldn't make it. Should I make a meme with that? I don't know if I can. I don't know if it's a good meme though. <clears throat> I'm pretty excited. Where the fuck is my download? What's up, Irish man? What's good? Made it to land. How excited are you to finally be here? I'm pretty excited. Like, <laughs> you to finally be here. I'm pretty excited. Be here. Be here. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. Like, <laughs> what should it be? Uh, what? what? <laughs> pretty excited for game two. Our uh, next bands, AMC, Merlin, just the same bands as before. Um, Johnny, the savior for game number one in Flashpoint. That unit looking for the same bands that we saw in the previous one. Thinking about if the Alquang is worth a ban, and no. Flashpoint on the option now, no Merlin. They go come around, they'll change things up. Do you expect a change from that unit's approach? They're banning Kronos. They're also ban now fetch from Ben the Morrigan instead of banning the King Arthur. I do think that's a, that, that's a good idea. Morrigan pressure early game is just insane. Even though it's a bit of a mi Mixer exclusive is off, like, 
not land games. Everything that's played land and tournament wise is um, is um, is allowed on Twitch. Uh, what should the what what should this one be? I'm pretty excited, like. I, I, I want to make a meme with it. What is he excited about? No, I closed on everything. I'm pretty excited. <clears throat> Some Kujing way. I understand taking this Sunku. I also got the Jing Wei, which is super good. They could put Sunku into Jormungand, which will do fine as well. Alright, they pick four. Alright, let me go be back fast. I will. I'll see if I can make it back for uh, the full pick and bands. Right now, the draft doesn't mean too much. I'm gonna be back. I am back. They pick four top. T what? But coach went down. I think, I mean, it depends what, what the coach is for, but usually it's just pick and bands, I would say. What's up, Susie? Very smart band, by the way, from 
knowing that his, that's one of his go-to picks, especially with uh, Keeler. Terra Afro and Amazon Q as well. If the if hype doesn't get into this game. Oh, Susano for Flashpoint. Susano does good into Hebo and for... It also does fine into Freya because Freya has no way of getting away. Plus her ultimate is... Uh, plus uh, your ultimate as Susano, you can always hit Freya. Even if she ultimates right when you use your ultimate. You can insta fire your ultimate and Susano ultimate will still hit. Uh, but Freya can go... Um, Freya should go di uh, Dynasty this game. So, King Arthur build, he's uh, opting for no tier 1 glacial. I guess it's fine because um, he's into double magical. Inbound is going to be invading on the Fafnir, he's going in pretty early. Aphrodite and Susano is pretty weird, uh, bad clear here. Uh, Fafnir went in a bit too early, so now they both go mid, clear that and maybe invade a buff. Problem here is that uh, Freya is going to get pressure as well. Inbound have, hasn't used the spell yet. Johnny started his one now because he uh, had to go mid instantly. Change the camera placement. Sorry, sorry. There we go. So what value have they gotten yet? Fafni can still invade. What active does Fafni have? He has Sprint. Sprint is not that good of an active uh, for invading. It's fine though. No, he stunned Johnny instead. What? He stunned Johnny. So that's no secure. Susanna still level one, but I mean, he got his beat buff. Beckham still up. Double blue buff is secured for a flashpoint. I'm not sure who actually got the purple buff. Um, Jingwei go wise is a bit behind, so I believe that Freya might have gotten it, or maybe Four did it. She be shaken, where is he? King Arthur is getting ganked here, but I mean, I don't, I don't see them kill him. <laughs> Especially not that the stun did miss now, but it found him to poke him. Oh, Jing has purple buff? Oh, I didn't see that. Freya is pretty far ahead though, like 60 gold. 60 experience per minute right now. I guess she just missed a few minions. I didn't see that uh, she got the purple buff. Dude, imagine if Flashpoints wins the tournament with a substitute. That'd be so fucking funny. Also, I think one thing that's bad, what they did. Sanku is no pressure early game. Not no, but he's low pressure early game. And same goes with Terra, but she's good secure. 
and King Arthur Fafnir both play the weak, but making a King Arthur fall somewhat behind is so bad as well. Luckily they got second blue buff, but Flashpoint could have invaded that. And then if King Arthur didn't get that, he would have been fucked. But uh, I guess they're somewhat alright now since they got it. I feel like King Alfred tried to zone that too hard. He lost a bit of gold on that. Not too bad though, because uh, so did uh, Sanku. Alfred Ali has been super strong here as well. Um, Good morning, Doken Brona. Who's to say that that won't just be Veronic's crushing wave that gets factored out in every single team fight? You're right, it's a huge safety factor for Sibby. I'm gonna be uploading this to YouTube. How the fuck do I do that with the uh, thumbnail? Like, what thumbnail should I use for? For. Um, hmm. Maybe there's um, a picture you can get from Smiley. Would like to see an early brawler's rush for sure out of players in response to the the Jean Cui Afro and Terra. I mean, you just can't even go wrong considering the Spain is probably going to buy Devil. Not second item like he's um Is there like a picture? Where they do that? I would check. I would check after this game, I guess. Dude, it's insane how many people are streaming this. That's a gang and Shoda. Is he gonna survive? Nope, that's a dead Shoda. First blood goes to Hype Unit. Pretty good gang. That's a free man effort though. Uh, they're not gonna lose mid camps or anything. Dude, 4 is not gonna be that good since they have uh, Aphrodite. One thing I can be scared of is that. Flashpoint doesn't have enough DPS to kill like uh, King Arthur. But that's just what I'm thinking. I, I, I'm not sure that's gonna be a reality. We'll see though, we'll see. My Twitter crashed. Well. It was a little bit easier, but on that thought, because Veronic actually might have been a little bit of trouble there, but Johnny barely squeaking out of that stun from layers there in mid. Seemed as though Flashpoint wanted a response into Hype Unit, just unable to connect. That's crazy patience, though, for Veronic, isn't it? Holds on to the bees and the ults in that situation, trusting that he'll be okay, and he absolutely was. Makes it back to the tier one, and everything's a okay. That means Flashpoint don't really get much from their aggression. And we talked at length about Johnny's Al Kwong and how, you know... Four Walls can be super good, for sure. Probably just the best Al Kwong player in it's been out to use last, though. But he's real good on a lot of other stuff, too. I mean, his Susana was certainly nothing to shake the stick at either. I'm not sure what I should do with Fumble if I upload these games. It's, it's not going to be in a freebie. And 
that's for sure. I think the Flash Lane have already sent that message. Even without their full roster, they are still not looking to let this set go away very easily for console guys. Might be unit, they've got their work cut out for them here in game two finish, because like we've already mentioned multiple times, Flash Lane got game one victory, and it came with Johnny on that AO. So you almost have to wonder how much of that could Choda is getting fucked. Fucking well, so Actually, I've stunned there, and Johnny saves him. That's the wolf's, wolf's dead. Maybe. Just barely alive, but inbound transforming. They are considering fighting here in the 2v4. They've got them right at their tier 2 tower. Yeah, so this is what I'm scared about with having Susano is that DPS wise on tanks, you don't have too much. Oh, ultimate? What? You got ultimate by earlier? <laughs> oh, they're alive. Again, Hybion is getting a really good early game. King Arthur with the Gletschel in those, in those situations is just... Anybody want for from now? Yeah, but don't I want the, their logos as well? I guess I can do one in, in, in paint as well. Can I get that one? That's really all it comes down to. Sure. MSI logo. Flashpoint logo. I can get I can get this. How the fuck do I get the icon without it being uh, transparent? From layers, chaotic purpose, whatever the name is, my man gets it done. Nice double tap, five to one see. now for hype unit. So the early game still looking good, but is this enough, Taka? It's not enough of a lead just yet. Nothing that hype unit can feel all that comfortable with. Because remember, finish game one. Who got a kill? Oh, they got a kill on Sippy? How did they get that? I'm just looking at something. How to play against Sanku as King Alpha, you got back yesterday in the matchup. I think you got a. Like, your jungle is to play around you as well. Sanku, if he gets alone into King Alpha, he's gonna start winning. Honestly, that's fine. That's Kispinify dead, though, because Inbound is gonna be here. Maybe you can get a kill on him before he's on the wrong side. If you don't get mana buff, surely it's gonna be super hard. Gonna go. All right. Thank you for watching, man. Do appreciate that. Do appreciate that. Oh, Kispanify. Oh, this is really good. Kispanify should be able to get that kill. Oh, that's four ultimate. I think he can kill Fusify. I think he can. Oh my god. Dash in, dash in, dash in. Oh, you're so lucky that it disappeared. Come on. Get him, Kispanify. Oh, is he alive? Oh my god, Kispanify. <laughs> oh my fucking god. 
as Kaspanify has had himself a set. The defense on the Titan in game number one and the turn on the for Fusify here in game number two. I mean, I've been loving it so far. Gotta play to your strengths, and if there's one thing Kaspanify is certainly taking... So this is a problem. Uh, I don't understand why Flashpoint didn't play on, uh, around Sun Kui. Because now fucking King Arthur is going to be able to carry this game. Like they're going to have a, such a hard time killing him. Uh, except when it gets to like late late game. So this game is pretty funny. She decides to go bankrupt this game when they don't have to protect him's peace in the solo laner. I'm not sure exactly what's the idea what the idea is. What's up, Naps? I don't know if Wolves in his lead is gonna be enough. Wolves is trying to do what he can to create as much of a gap as possible because he I'm trying to just tweet as much as possible as well doing the games. Get some um, Twitter action going. That's always a lot of fun. Look how much they play around King Arthur, whereas Flashpoint doesn't do shit around King Arthur. But they do end up putting three people in right lane, so that gives a free goal for you. Is it worth it? I don't know. At this point, King Arthur is already fucking up Sunku. Not sure they should have done that. That's a fair ultimate down for trying to kill him. Hopefully, uh, Baronic is getting Divine Rune and not Spear Desolation here. He's giving. They're getting King Spendify Tower now as well. They're just making him huge for no reason. I am not sure. Coming out from him. And this is so interesting because Freya really does just want the attack speed. You do want the anti heals. You like this pickup form? I think it's I think this works. A little bit of everything. Uh, almost at least. Movement speed as well. Can't forget about that, but I, I think it was a bit of a necessity switch up for Griff. He's going in after ultimate. Could have been a bit earlier. Also, Four could probably have walled him off instead of trying to get a stun like that. Dude, if Terra ultimate there, if she had ultimate, I think you can almost have solo the the four. If they can end up playing around the King Arthur, they can win. But at this point, um, Sanku is already getting online, and Terra has upgraded shell. So if they stack up with Afro and and heals plus Terra ultimate and Terra shell. I don't see how to kill that. They also drop Fusify's ultimate and Wolves is having trouble keeping in the kitchen with all I killed Wolves. I think Alpha Ultimate was down for this fight. It it just came up. But in comes Buronic for the double kill crushing wave. Sets up for a triple kill and Shoda is in trouble. Quadra kill now for Buronic. Quadra kill. Get out of our house. Who needs a pyromancer when you can just take the fire giant instead after all? But no, Buronic is not done just yet. He wanted. That's fire down. Holy shit. I didn't even see how he got the quarter kill. I just saw the ultimate. Game 3, honestly, I, I, I don't see them win, uh, even though they got that fight, I don't see them win. They have Toxic Blade on Freya now, I think now they're committing to too much anti-heal. 
If Johnny ultimate there, I could have killed him. What's that? Oh. Bruvani got a position. They can't really abuse it though. Nobody's dead. They need to back out, I think, after they get the kill on Fafnir. After Fafnir, I think they should back out. Oh, the Hebo only hit one ultimate. Aegis? Aegis just disappeared. That's a kill. Can you kill him? Oh, Freya's dead. Force no ultimate. Can Morbles kill them? I think they're gonna be healing here. Because Spendify is actually smacking him. Oh, double stun. Oh. They get tier 2 tower here, yeah? Good fight, good fight. As far as fucking insane. He's playing alright actually. I do believe he could have been uh, He could have been dead. Uh, if Jenny just ultimated and popped it off instantly. But Layers has been playing good, so. Like his earlier game was insane as well. Them not having anti the last like the last game was pretty rough though. Aphrodite is just full Kuno election and a rather sub Klepsius. It's not that strong, honestly. They could potentially get an Oni Fury here. It's also pretty fun to see that Sun Kui's, like in last game and this game, has not been doing that well. It's so hard to utilize. I don't know if it's hard, but at least it, it looks hard to utilize. Um, to utilize the. Um, the Sun Kui ultimates, because last game was just a mess with ultimates, and this game, Sun Kui ultimates have not done anything. <laughs> That's a TP. You didn't get a stun here, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> He's walled off. Oh, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! Oh, the speed's down. Holy shit. Could also just have freed instead of beating, and then he would not get pulled. But then after the die, the stun could have been feared. <sighs> Let's see the ultimate down. It's Forest ultimate and they're looking to dive here. He ultimated into the fucking tornado thing. Choda is ultimating, he should die here. Johnny didn't have a potential to go in. There's still three ultimates up. I guess, I guess King Alpha ultimate is always gonna be up. <laughs> I can OP. Is that worth it? I guess he's he's creating space. He he tried to create space. Like if they can just keep the tower alive, it's honestly pretty good. Like I think that was pretty smart from Johnny because they kind of backed a bit off. Was it remote? Fuck a damage mid laner. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's not looking too good for Sippy right now. Jingwei passive is so fucking broken. I don't know what I feel about Sun Kui right now. Like, this build surely is what you should build, right? You kind of want Void Stone instead of um, Jim of Isra right now. Especially into Hebo. They do have a sprint as well. I think Void Stone would have been more value. Also, making sure you don't get one shot by uh, Hebo. Also, Freya, even. Like, the magical damage. Like, it's kind of rough he does the magical damage. Stone of Fall? Stone of Fall could be really good as well. I do believe Void Stone would, uh, would help a bit more. Are they giving up Fireline? Nobody's zoning. What is Mobile doing? I feel like uh, King Alpha in that position should never ever be on uh, Fireline. 
Oh, he almost stole it. That's ultimate. That could be a uh, dead uh, four. Ah, he's alive. Again, I don't feel like uh, Fusify's ultimate is so good. Oh, that's the upper kill. With the wall perfectly. That allows him to live now. Oh. Johnny is underneath the grill. Is that did you know what? Go, go, Choda. Comes Choda with the John Quee recalling demons. He is able to find Griffin. He got Freya. Because Benify is alive. This fight's all over the place. The wolves are now looking to realize. No, he missed his two. Oh, he's still hanging. Oh, he missed the two. I know he aches, but the two would have hit him. That's pretty lit though. Pretty good fight, pretty good fight. I would like to see uh, probably... I think Kibo should get the um, book of the dead here. She got the haste ring now as well. I like that the four is going into being a bit tanky here, which shifts as a Mesa Moon. I think you should go more tanky than Mesa Moon in this position. To enjoy this arena gameplay, actually it's pretty fun to watch. I think uh, like a man of discord or spirit rope on the four would have been better. But again, he got 50 damage on the Mesa Moon, so if he comes down to killing somebody, then maybe that could help a bit. Mamma mia! Buronic 3? And then full damage on 4. So you have to defend Wild as well, if he has one experience at least. and you're just now getting introduced to this hype unit team there's some beasts on this squad man so do not underestimate them mm, go and fusify layers comes in but an undying love buy some time and fusify is still drawing breath on this earth they don't have enough damage man for the front line like no damage for front line without the gene way Honestly, they can kill this wave with the uh, Susano ultimate and look for like a bit of poke. Oh, he's okay, if I just spawned as well. He blinked in. He's going in. Leos could die here. That's Aegis down, ultimate him after. Johnny still has ultimate. They can push it. What? That should I hit. What? Oh, oh, they're out here fighting. I didn't. Show that dead. That's fine. Johnny has his free on him, so he can go in now. He beats. Ooh. I was looking at Twitter and what happened here. What happened here? They must have gotten out of base, even though it was water. Like, Flashpoint have wards up here, so I don't see how they can just get back though. Except if Flashpoint, no, except if Hype was trying to wait for them. Also, I feel like at this point, uh, King Alpha is going to start falling a bit off. It's basically into like a healer comp. Oh, 
I think the white stone could have been so good here on um, on Sunku because it also enhances Terra damage, and Terra got uh, Terra got decent damage. Tira's crystal damage? Yeah, exactly. Like, Tira ultimate this game and last game has not been that good. Like, for some reason, he's opting into ultimate, ultimating like the Fafnir alone. Last game, he was ultimating the Sun Q alone a lot. I, I think he should be a bit more patient with the Tira ultimate. Because getting an ultimate on, uh, let's say he gets an ultimate, that's a good ultimate. He should, that's, that's a good ultimate if they can get in now. Except they can disengage. I feel like Hype should disengage here. Yes. Show that's dead almost. Johnny is dying. Interesting. They can heal up a bit though. Inbar can die. Oh, dude. I feel like that fight could have been so different. More wolves teleported in. I feel like they split up the fight too much. But they kind of had to as well, right? It's pretty, pretty fun almost the same damage, but it turned way, out, turned way better out for, for hype. I've been just throwing so much. I mean, I think at this point they're gonna get fire down and it's not gonna be a throw. It's gonna be enhanced as well. Maybe can get a kill. There's beats down on the uh, way. Oh, if you stole that. Four is ultimating. Active is down like a spending fire, yeah? Does he have the balls to do it? No, he doesn't. Pretty good ultimate to like pre ultimate to make sure that the uh, that nobody dies. What do you think about the bills right now? Fafnir build that Phoebe Stone of Binding, honestly, pretty good. I like the Freya build as well. I'm not sure how worth the. Um, the Toxic Blade is. Um, but it, it's alright, like, it's alright. Because Ben Fire normally had the carry build. Kinda like Terra as well, kinda normal. Sibi is going a bit more defensive now. I don't know if Kronos Pendant or Book of Tough is better here. And Johnny went into CDR, like 30% of CDR. Which is fine. I would have liked to see more magical protection on Sun Kui. Like Hebo is doing so much damage to him. King Arthur fine. Again the 4. Void shield? Yeah, I mean. He's not really to scale the magical damage is he? I gotta get all the towers. It's just down to defending phoenixes. I think honestly, uh, one thing that could be good here is that if they're looking to get the phoenix, I mean they probably need to get kills before they can look for it. But one thing they could do is, um, is kind of send uh, King Arthur after Susano and just let King Arthur zone Susano completely. Um, Choda is getting magical protection now, thank god. They waste so much time, it's fine to get the, the towers though. By the back, because they can get items or potions, wards, get ready for the fights. 
I think there's still a little bit of... Is there like an easy to kill Arthur? But it's, it's certainly I mean, he has Titans been now. Do you think we can kill him? ...to win you fights outright at this point in the game, right? So they, they've got to make sure they capitalize on these next one or two engagements or else Flashpoint truly are just back on even footing. It definitely hurts Sibby, though, not having Pen online just yet because... Titans and Hydras? ...back off is a huge... Yeah, but he has to use full kit on him. In that mid lane 10 seconds. Yeah, but that's quite, a, that's quite a lot when it comes to a Phoenix fight. Ten seconds is quite a lot. Well, it's going for the Kispani fire by the kiss. They're going in now. It's gonna be a weird fight, but King Afro is completely in the back alone. Johnny just saw the rest. Johnny just saw the rest. No, he fed. Oh, he tried to do Fusify. No, he tried to do a uh, Frost Jack ultimate. Oh, dude, that last one would have been so good. And for the first time, I believe, in our Smite history, we've got a console team beating a PC one. Well, we don't have, we haven't had crossplay, right? So, a good point there, Tom. That's a great point. Why don't we have this? But swinging in for console here is Hype Unit. And this was the set more than any... Try to do the Frosty Egg ultimate combo. ...to be this close. One, one between them is no surprise. And honestly, Hype Unit has to be feeling... I don't think that's worth it. I think just playing in ultimate. ...if they played a little bit cleaner. They've got every right to claim this set. It was just non-stop pressure. I mean, games one and two have been relatively similar from Hype Unit. They yeah. have looked for that early game and the mid game and purely trying to seize control a bit. And they've been able to do it very well so far in both games, though I've been impressed with the way that layers... Oh, I'll be back fast. ...worried a little bit with the Thor in the early game, but he absolutely started showing up. And what about my man Veronica on that Havwa? That was absolutely nutty as well. But Taco, I'm sure we could sing the Hype Unit's praises all day long. Let's get this back over to the desk. They'll break it down. Very excited about this win here for Hype Unit, and I'll tell you exactly why, because this is their style. Totally coming into this tournament, I was kind of worried about the crossplay teams, both minor league and console competitive. Looking at, you know, are they going to change their game too much? Are they going to try to adapt too much? Hype Unit played old school picks, how they've won in their own regular season, yeah. and they take the game. They were still aggressive compared to game number one, and this time they sealed the deal. They were more calculating about how they were going to close out some of these objectives. The patience to do that 30-minute fire giant and then disengage. Yeah. You could see layers went up in the air. He wanted to try to get a little bit of extra, but he realized, all right, we need to close this out cleanly because you've got to worry about the late-game threats from Flashpoint, playing the Jean Kui, playing the Aphrodite. Those are two guys you got to worry about. And this is one guy you got to worry about as well. You know, I sat here, you know, on the desk just a second ago, and I said, if Hype Unit look to win this game, it's got to be off of some old school baronic nonsense. This was one of many multi kills, quadra kill. I think he had two separate triple kills mm. as well. This was absurd. And I mean, you know, I'm going to take this back. This was insane, but absurd is unfair because. This is what Baronic does. Baronic and Layers together really made this one happen for me, totally. They both really popped off this game. You gotta respect the global pressure from this door, but not only that, just the close range action between him and the Havwa. It was difficult for I think Choda to do anything is as a Jean Kui. When he made this rotation, he really tried to play cleanup crew, but it was a little bit too late. All the late game Havwa damage was too much to handle. That's what these guys do. Veronic and Layers have combined together in that mid and jungle. You talked about how important mid jungle synergy is. These guys have been doing it for years. And, you know, not, not to take anything away from the rest of the squad. This was a team win. But Baronic has a history of doing this both in the regular season and particularly on. Oh, no. Hey! To the console team? They're not really console because there are four people who's playing with the. Um, with the. Um, <clears throat> with the controller. Just Baronic on the Havwa or just layers on the Thor. You gotta give a lot of credit to the rest of the supporting crew. The calls that were made, sure. the grouping up, I think Arthur for World is a good pick to be able to fully out Shoda on the Junkie, not allowing him to get to that late game form. And also, the ability to make this aggressive cup work again sure. did not allow Flash Prince to get to that. One of them is playing with but not land. I think one of them is controller and rest is. Uh, there was a ticking time bomb that is. Um, Keep it on mouse. Absolutely. And you know, watching teams kind of counteract their mistake in game number one, you know, uh, it was 
a mistake. Hype Unit probably should have taken that game, but, you know, they, they didn't know how to tank the Titan. They weren't able to go ahead and figure out that win. So the secondary game, what they do in game number two is they peel it back. They identify what went wrong. We saw a moment where I kind of held my breath and I went, okay, Hype Unit could look to end right now if they want, and it would be the wrong choice. Game number one, Hype Unit goes for that. Game number two, Hype Unit, they peel back. They look for a fire giant. They disengage after the fact, like you noted. There was a lot more kind of hurry up and wait. There was a, a, a more meticulous pacing here for Hype Unit this time around. Felt like that they had some war flashbacks, not <laughs> trying to go for the end that time around. And you gotta give uh, a lot of respect to that kind of yeah. ability to change. Layers to play that uh, that well. Drastic in the sense that they went for the Aphrodite and the Jean Kui, like too much late game focus. This time around, Johnny didn't really pop off the way we were expecting him to. Also, also that you know, Johnny, we noted that he is not the only member on this team, but certainly the uh, the one of no. I think what the flashpoint, no hype should do, invade flashpoint again. Like just make Johnny uncomfortable, just make him fall behind early game. Shoulder should focus even more. Yeah, and you should have made magical protection instead of that Gemma ISO. Most often, Farakrik is the one that comes and fills that spot. That's fair. Him down here. It's a little bit rough for the Flashpoint squad. They, however, will have the first selection this time around. So, what are you expecting to change here, Tully? I'm not expecting an Aphrodite play for Flashpoint <laughs> this time around. There was just too much AoE burst damage that Flashpoint couldn't prevent. You could only. This is going to be a long day, chat. It's already seven. Veronic Layers, it was a lot Fuck. of damage too quickly. I think Flashpoint should just play aggressive early, like play hype units game up early because that's how Flashpoint were getting a lot of their victories. I want to see if I can do this actually. Was the um, to really pop off. Always late. We'll see if it's too late for the team to take the victory. The Morgans still the downloads. Down. Fuck, I don't know what they call no them. No surprise there. I think the Baronic is uh, just that scary. He beat you kind of in game number two. The, Mor the Morgan in game number one was very, very powerful. Um, Didn't download the picture like now. Saw, but certainly a nice look. So, Moronic not going to have access to that one either. Hot unit banning the Freya, knowing that they were the first pick in the last couple of games. That allowed Griff to play it. But with the Valkyrie taken away, Hot unit now discussing their second look. And it will be mage adc of chronos and now leaving a moosing cop available i think flashpoint will insta lock this trying to get pressure in the mid lane for sibi he played the medusa in game number one which is kind of like the next go-to pick once a moosing cop is down in the mid lane so i'm expecting more fuck how the fuck to do that then sibi the uh oh. to, to call any of these guys and bottom of at least an hour holy shit that's gonna be a long time going with the mc chronos freya bands Unfortunately for him, his team has always had a That's team Hype's logo. A, a mark on it, whether it's I need to make um, to make, it. I make a thumbnail. Said, having Johnny is best case scenario. It's unfortunate that Farrakrik has to stay at home, but uh, a big deal here for Sibby is he again tries to make his mark at land play. Hype unit <coughs> squad trying to figure uh, out make to thumbnail take, take online. Three to the bank right now. Thor. I loved the initiation factor. There's some question marks, but you know, they the picked the four again. Every oh, hey, time Sam. Thor came down, it was impactful. Yes, I'll take it. Also, the walls, the Im impact of just cutting people's escape, being able to multi stun that great two man stun behind the gold Oof. fury, being able to last uh, just basic attacks was a sight to see. And then there was the two man stun on the right side by the solo tier one tower where he gets the double tap as well, yep. opening up a he did the last game. I still don't know, man. The Jormungand and the Fafnir, though, selected here for Flashpoint. The Eastern Europeans really liked Jormungand there on the short side. He looked good in the hands of Chota before in game number one. We'll see if he can do it I don't know, again man. here. And the Fafnir, low amount of surprise here. You see AMC likely to go into the mid lane like we've been discussing for Sibi. Double Hunter, Fafnir, grass is green, water is wet. Sure, and you don't necessarily have to run Double Hunter. Like, this could be going to Kaspana 5 sure. for the Moose and Cop, but it's probably going to be a Double Hunter composition with how popular AMC is in the mid lane. And where I was getting to is the fact that just with a Moose and Cop and a Fafnir, that's already really fast objective control. Oh. Add another hunter to that, and then I think Hype Unit needs to be really on top of when Flash. Osiris, Jingwei, pressure, pressure. Yom Fafnir. So they probably need to get Sol. Are they gonna ban Sol? 
Der Kühler hat sogar Double Physiker zum Stab, ja, im Solo, right? Du Major, I don't need a nerf, or do the characters do? Uh, items. I feel like. This is the character, this type of character is what I want to see in the hands of Wolves. So how do you... Be that bully. Took a while for Arthur to be able to do that. The Ogyrus can come out and just fight you. He's the anti-hunter of choice. Like, outside of Bologna with a Scourge, I think Osiris is, like, your next best anti-hunter. Which one? I think the rings, most likely. Tether, especially when you're playing a hunter that has no escapes, like a Moosing Cop. Yeah. You can't escape those tethers, right? Like, you can try to outrun it, you're potentially. Slow? But, yeah, then you get slowed by the Osiris. By his, his, his one and his two, three. Yeah. The sickle. Two and his four. His All four things, roots you in place. He'll lock you down forever, it feels like. You think he's gonna buy a frostbound helmet? Oh my god, no, <laughs> stop. He's not Bologna. Winged blade for flashpoint, please. Hype unit on the clock. All the rings? Um, I mean, here's the ring for Freya. Demonic grip for almost every other carry. Tilikant is fine. Shaman's ring is fine. Eddie Carey doesn't use that. Mind, and the Susano obviously is what FP went to the last time around, but a very different situation with the Musing Cop in the mid lane. Basic attackers will synergize very well for Flashpoint on the jungle side, on also because Pain Defy. So I'm excited <coughs> see if we can make the thumbnail well, there. Whereas the last game, I definitely expected more <laughs> CC in the form of the Susano. This um, wouldn't really surprise Flashpoint me if and this does get locked in. This is, yeah, I, I think hype. the Bracken is one of the forgotten gods. Uh, every now and then people ask me, what characters do you think we should see more of in the, in, in the Pro League? Or what about Bancroft? Mm, I think Bancroft is fine. Um, he does a lot of work against the Musin Cobb and is real powerful here, especially wanting to play aggressively. But I think the reason we see hype go from Kabrakin back to the Geb is these last two spots are more question marks, and you could just walk yourself into a bad match. Geb at four. Kind of right. Like sure. you're going to have Thor and Osiris diving the enemy backline. Who is going to be protecting Baronic and also Griffin? I'm going to make a thumbnail here. You might want Geb, you might want the Kepri, but knowing inbound, he's more comfortable on the Geb. That's a big question. You bring up Baronic's name, that's the man that really uh, putting a lot of work to win game number two. Let's see. What's up, uh, Jonas? I'm doing all right today. Set. Need to get this focus as well. Will we see it? Locked in here for Flashpoint. Johnny on the spot, going to bring out the new guy. Set will be selected here, and Hachiman will be the hunter of choice. Likely to see him in the long lane. I'm using Cup in the mid. Hype unit now have their mid lane selection on deck. Where do they go? <coughs> They need some anti-basic attackers. Anything that attacks speed slows. So Xing Chen mid. Xing Chen mid. There we go. <laughs> I mean, There's the like, you're having like some issues right now. Really? The damage being dealt. I have that sometimes as well. I don't think they're going Xing Chen. I mean, I could see it. I appreciate you guys sending I can see it. <laughs> this isn't an Alpha Jackal team, okay? This isn't an Alpha Jackal team. Hype unit. Mana? They need a magical. They've got three physical. Yeah, they only have Gabby. So they do need a magical unit here. Shout out to the Vermont of choice. And Zeus is where I thought we were going to go. We had the Waterman last time. Now we bring the Rainstorm. Hype unit enabling their mid lane carry with one of the hardest carrying gods in the game right now. What are your expectations for Set? What do you think of your Zeus? The floor is yours, Charlie. Talk to me. Set is going to try to engage on the Zeus, but you're going to have to only do it with your Blink because you're going to need to use that clone uh, escape to disengage once Zeus drops the lightning storm, drops the chain lightning. It's going to be difficult to even kill the Zeus because now you have to go through the Geb shield on top mm. of it. Inbound when meditation. What do, you do, what do you think about this from now? i surprised to see him go for more defensive relics in game number three. I don't think it'll be too easy for Johnny to find the picks. It'll be tough. I think this, uh, you know, Johnny playing the set, he's going to be definitely a high caliber ca player, high caliber character. Certainly a lot going on there, but on the other side, I mean, hype unit, they've got the Thor that was so successful in game number one, and then the Zeus. Veronic has a resume this long about games that he's won with Zeus. I'll be honest, Tolly, after game number two, I think hype unit might be able to take this. I think so in the PvP, but keep in mind, there's a PvE strat. One game to call it all. Flashpoint, hype unit, Finch, bring me the mini. 
I'd be more than happy to. Let's move into this hype game number three between these two teams and hype unit truly with a chance to upseed an SML squad here. I think on paper, Tonko, Flashpoint's draft probably a little bit better, but hype unit have picked picks that just work for them. Wolves is on the bully in lane on Osiris. Layers is on the Thor that he just popped off with in game number two. Baronic on Zeus and Griff has taken the Jingwei from Kaspanify. I mean, this is a hype unit draft. This is a hype unit draft for sure, but set is without a doubt the, the biggest question mark yes. from both of these teams. And I, I had it not been set, I, I do feel as though maybe we would have seen another god with like some mobility. But I, I like the idea of set against the Thor, not necessarily even for the Zeus, but it's all the mobility around there we go, that's the a fun and, and whatnot, and just having that extreme okay. range poke could help out. <laughs> We have a Hachiman this time. Interesting. It's very interesting. I mean, we don't get to see as much set. We've seen him brought out a couple times. I don't think he's particularly been successful. Again, Shoda is going five healing potions instead of health chalice. I'm not sure why. I think of him very similarly in the same vein as, a vein as Kali. Is it because of Wolves again? Get back there and sit on top of a target in the back line and blow them up with those basic attacks. As nice as he's set. And he has the mobility to do that with those clones, with the blink he picks that up. It just got to come down to Johnny's execution, but I mean, I trust someone like Johnny to be able to play it well. And something else that we never really addressed was uh, Chota being back on the Jormungandr. I, I think he's also another... We have uh, MC rushing Blackthorn. I can somewhat see that being good into Zeus because... Uh, also four. They're just looking to burst him, right? Get Blackthorn. Maybe we get a Glad Shield and get some survivability to get a Bakun level action. That way you get like a lot of survivability. Fusebuy has just to stop them doing it. Chota can hit level 2 here, right? Because he gets to wait so long. Never easy trying to fill in some pretty good shoes, honestly. Sibi is a phenomenal solo laner and has done a fantastic job in his time in the minor league and the fact that he's now flexing into an entirely different role that very I doubt he's had a very much practice Pretty chill prior or leading two lane here or should I say sort of lane kind of remember Flash he's stepping into a spot where it's it's almost lose-lose for him they're heavily expected to win against console right a team is as strong and, and better as Flashpoint so if they win, it's like, well, yeah, you were supposed to anyway. And then if they lose, it, you feel like it all falls to him. I mean, it, it, he came into a tough spot, and I've been really impressed with how he's done. To be fair, though, if anybody thinks that Hype Unit is a blowover team That's after fair. how games one and two have been, I, 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 I doubt that that should be the assumption from the public any longer. It, yes. If anything, I mean, fair play for both sides. I mean, I don't think there's any reason to call a console anymore because they're playing on keyboard and mouse, yeah? proven right so far as inbound brought... So surely they they have no disadvantage or advantage. Depends if you think controller is better or not. But inbound himself on con uh, on console said that uh, that is a disadvantage being on on controller, and probably why they're all playing keyboard and mouse. Oh my God! Dude, I can't wait to see set pop off. Did, his, did he commit to the totem since it died or what? The damage has already been done. Veronic taking that early first blood spill to Johnny. Chota dying is not the worst. It is definitely rough to not only drop for first blood, but to give the kill over to the set and accelerate his farm is scary. But I have to imagine that was within calculation. If I wonder what build uh, Johnny is going to go. If he's going to opt into cooldown reaction or get a crusher. This is a reasonable expectation that he could end up being punished. So... I'm trusting Hype Unit to have, to have said they're, they're perhaps okay with him taking a spill, though I doubt they wanted it to be first blood. But that might be part of the problem in my mind, Finch, because Flashpoint were probably anticipating for inbound to start on solo. Hype Unit has done it all three games so far of having their support <laughs> over there in the solo side of the map early on. And since Flashpoint know that veronic has been left to his own devices, for a large portion of the, the early laning phases, I think that all Flashpoint are you know, really after just trying to punish Veronic as often as possible. Maybe even inbound, try to catch up his Geb early on sure. before his shields really become as <coughs> offensive. A great ward from Griff, I do want to point out. That let him know that Johnny was on his way and he started to retreat. Hey, we made a thumbnail. Flashpoint that there is a ward there, but the 
better win goes the way of Griff as he manages to avoid ever even having to see the game. Do you think Sydney is out of buff? <sighs> it's hard to say, man. I don't fucking know. Still losing? Unlucky. That's for ultimate. Did I hear him? I'm not sure. That's a beats down. Ultimate and beats down. Because Benefy is winning left lane as well right now. Honestly, I, I, I see uh, I see Flashbang winning this one. I don't feel like they have good enough setup for um, for the Zeus. Oh my god. No, 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 no. He should have gotten further back because he could have stopped this back if... Do you think you like buff on Wednesday? I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Even still trying to contest that totem of Koo now that he's got his jungler Johnny rotating in to help him out without that Lord of the Afterlife. Johnny knows Wolves doesn't have as much kill potential, but not looking to take any chances either. While Chota loses a huge chunk of what he just freshly regen. So a nice hammer toss from layers. This could also end up being the blue buff. It certainly could. I think we both gone. Honestly, it doesn't matter too much. They have they have Osiris into uh to Yom right now. I feel like Osiris wins that until level like 10 or something. Up against three. That was never really gonna happen anyway. Still fun to, to think about. You never know. I mean, we've seen crazier steals from, from supports in the past, so. It was a non-zero percent chance, yeah. It was up there. But still low. Somewhere between zero and one. Yes, that is that is right. <laughs> More than zero, but not No more faith than. in Jesus Fai on that Fafnir. It's not his fault. He's a Fafnir. Come on, man. That's a thought that counts. I tried to defend that. He's going to see the eye boost this game. I like uh, Fafnir to get him at Set as well. What's up, Ericsson? I, I feel like maybe Set could receive a little buff. I'm not sure if he needs a buff, but I feel like he's just like... He's not a top pick, at least. Maybe he gives a lot of respect to this Hachiman and it's safe back. Well, right now, I think Johnny's just focused around Hype Unit's red buff and trying to ensure that that timer... <laughs> That's is almost solo invade. Down to Flashpoint. Other than set, um, I mean, rings, mage that he carries nerf. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of excited for like the Scotty 4 and the third cut that's going to be changed. Also, again, inbound is opting in for uh, Chalice of or or Oracle, Chalice, Chalice of Oracle, um, and going stone of binding. So he's delaying thieves so hard. They might be able to play around having uh, a lot of damage early game, but I feel like that's like a bit dangerous to go that way. I think Sibi is gonna go like a low damage build. Johnny can kill him. You gotta be careful. Ultimate down. Fuck. If he's ultimate, if he used ultimate on on Zeus, then he would have had like so many twos down that they could have life still for him. So they will use ultimate a bit earlier there if he's looking to fight them after at least. But I guess he didn't know how many there were. Because he did, they didn't have a like, aggressive ward, it's only uh, Hype Unit has defensive wards right now. I like the wards to have around the map as well. How do you like Kiss and Ring and the Money Ring shares? I don't think they need to change them right now. I feel like just increasing gold. Who you hope wins? Honestly, I'm I'm down to see both win. He has been, as Shoda is in a lot of trouble. Yet oh my again, God. has the ultimate that allows him to disengage. These first two could be for damage. Wait, I don't agree to that. He's say, they're saying that Shoda is. 
Lord, no, they're saying Griff is winning lane against Kispendify. <laughs> I don't agree to that at all. They can fight here, they can fight here. Oh, Griff is around though. He's going black phone into something. Oh. He can kill them all, he can kill them all. Kill them all, kill them all. There's a stun down. No! Oh my god, dude. That's so close. He could kill them. Everybody's just rotating, though. That's five men in mid. Another great fight for Hyphen around that middle lane as they finally are able to pull the experience a bit in their favor, though gold still very Sorry, uh, maybe I had the match again from very, very close so far. And really had the whole set spin even even and not set for Johnny. I mean the set overall. Griff though dashes forward aggressively into Spanify, but on top of that heavenly banner, this is not a trade that's going in Griff's favor. Luckily he's got inbound to back him up here with the Geb Shield, and the fight will dissipate for the moment. But that's only in duo lane, that's not about the solo. Chota does not have the ultimate this time and Wolves recognizes it. I feel like Chota's getting so fucked here. Up the dive I mean, the tier one. Layers, though, can't find the dunk. Oh my god, the damage though. Oh. To get away from Johnny, if Johnny had Blink there and could engage with Blink, that would've been sick. Johnny tried to do what he could, but it was just a little bit too late. Try and save the life of Chota. And this is also part of the problem with Set. He's got great Let's see if I can potential. Can check my video so. In competitive play, it can be really difficult, I feel, to try and find an opportunity here. Johnny, though, still managing to make <coughs> way as he picks off Turn around potential from Johnny, the double What kill. the fuck? Double kill? Dude, why do this happen when I'm not looking? I need to pay more attention because I'm, yeah, I was looking at the Twitter real fast. That was a lot of fucking damage, it looked like. Has just been setting up around these corners. I need to watch that back. Pincer, uh, the members of Hype Unit with. I think that was the first time that we saw the effectiveness of, of Set when he is able to find those pick opportunities. Yeah, like a laundry basket full of unwashed clothes. That play was filthy. Johnny puts in the hurt. I should upload the highlights from Twitter's Twitter gameplay. He can do that in just about anything that he plays. That's why we say as strong as Zhao Pong is. It's not just that. I mean, clearly, the Susano set, he has it all in his repertoire. It's just right as things are starting to look strong for I you know, I'll cancel that because they're still looking fantastic. Veronic and Inbound going to join forces to just evaporate Sibby. This is not what you pick the Amus and Cobb for in the middle lane. We haven't gotten to talk much about Sibby on this AMC, but he often equals free pressure in the <coughs> Sibby is dead. Right now, but that's two deaths he's had. Is that fire? Uh, go free for them? Actually, Wolves is not that far ahead. He's only 11 right now. He can still kill for uh, Kispanify though. He's not gonna get up with the stun. Fusify is almost dying here. Chora is coming. He's going on Osiris instead. He doesn't have ultimate, so he can't stop him. I think uh, Johnny went in. <sighs> if Johnny just has showed up at him. Chota needed to be around him. Literally able to kill them all then. Wait, Thomas, can you clip the, the quarter kill that he will got as well? Not exactly ideal, but definitely worthwhile. I think so too. I think Flashpoint can feel pretty good about that engagement. Obviously, you'd prefer to win those fights. That's the best case scenario. But stopping a hype unit who's kind of on a roll like that from grabbing the gold fury. Fefnir at level seven without Phoebs. The layers. He wants to find a little bit more. Chota's dead. As he dunks in on top of Chota, there's the Lord of the Afterlife. Of course, Wolf's nose and Chota had nowhere to go. No part of the map is safe. And especially not for Chota, you're, you're not for anybody trying to back behind those trees. You're, you're taller <laughs> than them, Chota. You're trying to be sneaky. I love it, right? Maybe we can just tuck back behind the tree. No way. Wolves and layers, their synergy just as strong as it's ever been. Chota ends up falling, though. If you're Flashpoint and you've been doubled up in kills to this point, you can feel pretty good because you're only down 1700 gold. This is not out of I might do um, a. I should get all the highlights from. Um, from the game today and then make like a highlight from day one day one highlights 
Wouldn't that be sick? <laughs> Leia's a beast, dude. Leia's in pain. Incredible. Is there any other highlights from these games? I remember it was the Quadra. Uh, it was second game around Fidine. So it's like around uh, 1 hour and 45 or something. Right before they get Fidine. 1 hour and 40 maybe? Absolutely be frustrating or a source of frustration. I think so, at least. Someone like Johnny on these dive heavy assassins that he likes to play, and that's what Set needs to be able to do. I mean, remember that fight we saw in mid lane where he had to dive a little bit too far to get the kill on Baronic, and then layers and inbound were able to get the kill and make it one for one. If Baronic could at least get his damage off and force Johnny to only be able to trade his life away for one kill, then he's done more than enough, and the rest of Hype Unit should be able to win the 4v4 afterwards. It's all going to come down to the timing, honestly, Finch. And if that lightning storm comes out a little bit too preemptively, well, Hype Unit could very well have the rug pulled out right underneath him. But one more time, Hype Unit going to revisit this gold fury, and that will undoubtedly. Wait, wait, it's before that, actually. Oh, they're going for the gold fury now? It is. Can they stop it, though? Oh. Four didn't land on somebody? Four landed on nobody. That's hammer down. He could actually go for him if he wanted to. Uh, he not down. Oh, Fruit Survive's dead here. Yeah. I mean, that's him dead. Jay Mistro, thank you for the follow, man. I appreciate that. Also, Fefner is just so far behind. He got his Phoebs through this deck now. And now he's going into... Wait, what is he going to be building with this? Yeah, Choda needs to get more experience. And he also needs to get fawns, I would say. Is he getting fawns? Into uh, Zeus? I would go fawns on the. Uh, yeah, he's getting fawns. Invested into a good bit of anti heal so far. I imagine that's largely for Johnny on this set, since there's not any dedicated healers this time. <clears throat> At least the uh, Hachiman is not too far behind. I don't think MC got that much damage. Yeah, he does no damage to inbound. Uh, Johnny went shell instead of Aegis as well. <coughs> What's up, Calamero? What's good, man? Just watching some SPL MSI. Quadra, let's go, dude. 
I got the Clifton. Oh, to my empty um, shell. I mean, they don't even really have that much health built up, even. Wolves, not gonna waste any more time. Instead, it's gonna be the wow. Wombo from Layers. And that was right on the tail end of the purification beats as well. Sibby Paul. Layers. Chota was isolated during the lightning storm. I mean, Johnny is still alive. Does he have an opportunity to get kills? There's a rotation coming from his cannons, but maybe the Shannon can come back in. Nah, that's Aegis on the Ronic. He doesn't have Odibao yet. I mean, this is a hype win. And now it's only carries surviving for Flashpoint. Griff, all the while, has just been freely split pushing while his team continues to win the fights without him. That forces Kaspanify to rotate back over to the tier 2 and all but guarantees the Pyromancer now for Hype Unit. Awesome, dude. Layers is a beast, dude. He's been pumping off. In a way that Flashpoint haven't been able to answer. They're still within striking distance for now, but Hype Unit, if they can maintain this pace, are starting to look pretty good to win this game. And Griff starting to look frisky, but immediately backs oh, off bad. once he figures out that Johnny's nearby. Johnny's still trying to get Chase, however, inbound. Not the happiest either. But he's right on top of the sentry board and has no idea. At best, he'll get this purple buff. At worst, he could get counter collapsed. Johnny, I'm surprised I'm looking for the turn. He doesn't have that much. He takes it with Mario every time. Perhaps trusting that inbound would be like as alone as he was. But Johnny has so much burn. He probably could have taken Griff and inbound in that last fight. But elects to be safer, knows how valuable his life and, in particular, him farming is right now and staying even with layers. He's kind of their win condition right now. Doesn't it kind of feel like something is just hovering over this map right now? Yeah. Like, there's just... It's the tension of being eliminated is what's hovering over And there. it's Flashpoint that I think who are really feeling it right yeah. now, even in the player camp. So you can kind of tell that the direction has shifted. Fefni is still too low level. Reality I like to build and set, but I don't know if it's going to be able to do much. Again, Shoda has no magical protection, but... I guess it doesn't matter this much that much this game because he doesn't need to tank Zeus damage. He got no Odibao yet. Maybe they can kill somebody. Choda is pretty low mana, that's not good. He needs to pull some put pulls down. He's ultimating. So is four. Is he gonna go back in? Wall's in the back. They're gonna get uh, go through here. There's no way. Uh, f uh, flashpoint stop that. Wait, who got blink? Hype unit got it. Does. Oh! Holy shit! Will it be enough? Sibby gets the first kill, but inbound and Baronic answer back to make it two for one. If he had Odibao here, that's one of them. They both dead. Not to be outdone, finds one of his own. A perfectly timed wall and a double. That's a dear side for him. Is that GG? And they're trying to end this game. I don't know. Just off this fight, Taco, but they're looking like the stronger team. That's pretty interesting. Gib is 17, Fefni is 12. I think that could have been a Phoenix, and that Phoenix would have been pressure into Fire Giant. Did you get fired on? There's no. Actually, there's TP on, on, on Yom. I think Yom could have been up there and annoyed them. He's no ultimate though, so. Would have been a bit hard. I don't know. I, I would probably have wanted to stop the fire down there. Because. Them getting fired on a spell GG. Their decision making calculus is affected by game the one? game one call, right? Yes, I think, and I think that that's what it is. That uh, you don't want to be the guy that makes the risky call and throws this game now, because at this point it would be a throw. I think they're that far ahead. Hype unit now the favorites to win this game and close out this set and move on in this bracket as our first console team. But that's only if they can close this all the way out. 
It's not done yet. Flashpoint still have got to try and hold on, but it's so weird that Osiris got blinked though. Right now, this is brutal. Not just Fusify, but also Sibi. I have not seen Sibi have room to breathe this entire map. This might be the first time we see Sibi actually able to do much of anything, and that's only because Wolves and Layers are a little bit later to the rally. That's ultimate on four. Chola is alive. Never mind, he's dead. They don't have any damage to kill uh, Osiris, I guess. That's GG. Has been melted. Hype unit at this point can go wherever they'd like to on the map. Johnny, they recognize. Oh my God! If you hit that hammer. Been pushed out, and they're gonna head back towards the tier two in mid. Fortunately for Flashpoint, Hype unit still have a T1 and T2 tower there in the mid lane. He's in the double at the carrier. I don't understand why Osiris just didn't go um, double. Uh, Nemean and then double physical and fawns. But maybe I'm just confused. Maybe they can find a way to fight. Oh, the ultimate didn't go on cooldown. Yeah, can they chase it though? Slow them. Oh, knock up. Pop fawns. He doesn't have fawns. But he just doesn't have enough damage on his own. High Phoenix still running though. They're not looking for this fight. This is going to be the best fight that Flashpoint could probably seek out at this stage in the game though. Because Bane of Io oh. ever going to get double tapped and obliterated for Ronin. Oh, no. Now to follow it up with Sibi later. Straight up in the air. Chota could be the next target. Comes right back down and Veronic completes the double kill. A rampage is inbound. Gets a kill of his own. And Wolves completes the DSI. Taco, this very G -G, well should dude. be it. Hype unit have completed the DSI. They should be able to just grab this game. They're going right past all the towers this time. They don't need them. They've already gotten the Phoenix, they've been here before. They just got to get into the Titan room. <coughs> That's sad to see. He's gonna even hold the aggro for the squad. Wolves, a team player, as they move in to grab the game and grab the. Oh, well, I was kind of expecting Hype to win. Here to make some noise at the mid season invitational, dude. Veronic and uh, Leos played quite well. Coming out on top of valiant effort, I think, from Flashpoint, nonetheless, not having their full roster here, I think, has certainly impacted them, but yes. I don't want to draw away from Hype Unit's win at all. This team came through, and they were clean today. Yes, I think until Damn. Three, Chota looked like he was doing really well for this team. I think in game three, though, with the Wolves finally on just a straight-up pressure pick in the soul lane, he did look a bit outclassed. But I think up until then, he gave them every chance to win. So I do think there is something to be said for not having character there, but, I mean, that's just a clean win from, from Hype Unit, man. I mean... You can see what it means to these guys as they're clearly pumped. GG, man. Just took over in game three. There, there just wasn't really much of anything that Flashpoint could do. Set just didn't have enough of that early game pressure presence to try and draw some of that Wolves' attention away. Even Layers was making Fusify's life absolutely miserable on that Fafnir. Yeah. It was just a Damn. really well-coordinated effort from Hype Unit. Yeah, what a, what a performance there from Layers as well, right? I mean, 